I'm Charlie Jules and you're watching GunaTube. Hi and welcome to the GunaTube Transfer Show, the transfer show that brings you all the incomings and outgoings at Arsenal Football Club. We've got plenty to get through today, so let's get on with it. Now, what about this man, Matteo Genduzzi? Uh, we all know who he is and we all know what's happened with him and the Arsenal. So, let's look at this. The reports that are coming out of the club saying that he's become more unsettled at the Emirates and the fact that he didn't feature in the match against uh, Leicester in the Carabao Cup the other night has speculated even more. Uh, it's added more fuel to the fire regarding the fact that he his future doesn't actually lie at Arsenal. Uh, since he was axed after the Brighton game, we all know what happened there. Uh, we know that Arteta has claimed that Gunduzi has been handed a new chance, uh, just like his teammates, to perform, but he hasn't actually started a game yet this season, and he's contracted till 2022. So we're not quite sure if he's going to be getting a move this summer. And if he doesn't get a move this summer, then will it be during the next transfer window? But what would that mean for Gunduzi? Would he be sitting on the bench, uh, a bit like someone else we know by the name of Meza Ursul, uh, who also didn't feature in the Leicester game the other night? Or will he start to feature by putting in the work and obviously Mikel Arteta will then include him in the squad? Personally, I don't think there's any way back for Matteo Genduzzi or Meza Ursul, come to think of it. And that would be a lot of wages off the books if we were to shift either of those two players or even both of those two players should the right offers come in. So we'll have to wait and see on that one. We know that the Arsenal value uh, Matteo Ganduzzi, even at such a tender age, at quite a, quite a large price. So again, we'll have to wait and see what happens there. So let us know what you think on that one. Should we get rid of Matteo Ganduzzi, Metsu Ozil, or both, or neither? Just let us know on that one. Now let's talk about this man here. Igli Tari, who's the sporting director at Lazio, is apparently working to close a negotiation um, precisely with a defender. And the defender uh, in question is none other than Skodran Mustafi. Now apparently the Albanian director of football, uh, Igli Tari, is negotiating with the father of the player, that's Kujim Mustafi, to take him to Lazio. Now the reports uh, have said that the, they've agreed wages already and they've agreed bonuses, etc., etc., uh, with only the final details to be done. However, it's also believed that Arsenal haven't actually entered the negotiation yet, even though the player and the club Lazio have agreed on personal terms. So we're waiting to see what happens there once Arsenal actually get involved and um, as to see as to whether they can sort out some sort of, uh, sort of uh, transfer and get Skodran off to Lazio. So let us know what you think about that one in the comments section below. So what about this man, Jorginho? Now the player's been linked with Arsenal, but uh, when it was suggested to Mikel Arteta, Mikel re remained quite tight-lipped about it all during a press conference. Now he was linked uh, with Manchester City a couple of years ago, but let us know what you think about this particular report in the comments section below. Would Jorginho would he be a success at Arsenal? Um, and if we were after Usem Oar, would we then need someone like Jorginho? Or do you think they're too similar? Who would you prefer? Uh, I know who I would prefer. Uh, I know that Jorginho has got Premier League experience, but I think someone like Usem Oar, who would fit completely into the way Arteta plays, would be a much better acquisition, and he's a lot younger too. So for me, it would be Usem Oar all the way. But like I say, let us know what you think, seeing as that Jorginho has already had a couple of years of Premier League experience. But leave your comments in the section below. We'd like to hear from you regarding that one. So it looks like Leon have already pl uh, started planning for life after Osimawa, which will be music to my ears and music to your ears, no doubt. And Mikel has made signing Oa. Uh, it's believed a priority. Uh, he's made him his top target. Now talks have already been going, uh, been ongoing between Leon and sporting director Janino, uh, who knows Edu very, very well. And they've, they've talked about this swap plus cash deal, but there hasn't actually been any solid developments as such. Uh, although we know that Arsenal will probably be going all out to get OR before the window closes. Now, again, we know that 
Arsenal have tried to use Gendouzi as a make weight, but Janino has said that he doesn't fit what they're after, and so they don't want him. But uh, let's know what you think. And so what does that mean for Thomas Partey? It seems that Atletico are standing firm on Partey, and uh, the situation hasn't changed, but they won't be allowing a possible Lucas Torreira swap deal to interfere with it. Uh, they will do that very, very separately. It's, uh, it's believed that Partey wants a move to Arsenal, so let's see how that one uh, plays out at the end of the trial as the as the transfer window draws to a close uh, will Thomas Partey really push for a move let's wait and see on that one and let us know your thoughts on that one I'd love to see Thomas Partey come to the club personally I mean Partey our uh, Sabayos and Xhaka with El Nenny as a backup is that midfield good enough to help Arsenal challenge for a top four four place what do you think I think it is but let's see what happens and finally here's one for you it seems that the Rumford Pelé, Ray Parler, has suggested that Arsenal should go in and get unsettled Deli Alley from good old Spurs. Would you like to see Deli Alley at the Arsenal? And would you like to Arsenal to go in and bid 45 or 50 million pounds for Deli Alley? Listen, there's no doubt Deli is a very, very good player. But I'm just wondering if Ray's had one too many beers today or he's been approached by a, a newspaper and he's had words firmly put in his mouth. Again, that remains to be seen. Personally, I don't know if I would want Deli Ali at Arsenal. The thought of that leaves me a bit cold, to be honest. But what are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments section below. Would you like to see Deli Ali at the Arsenal? Or would you prefer one of the others? Again, let us know. Thanks for watching today. Don't forget to subscribe by clicking the subscribe button. Hit that like button and hit the notification bell. That means you'll never miss any future content we do here at GunaTube. There's going to be lots and lots more content coming up. So keep it GunaTube and we'll see you soon.